Hi everyone, welcome to Trial Captain Ad. Um, I'm here today with an ace grading returns on this one night and one night only video. Um, I hope you all um, enjoy seeing my returns. I sent off um, quite a few cards but I'm expecting just to keep in my personal collection. Um, and I'm probably not expecting too many tens or I'm mostly hoping for the, the average great and maybe be an eight or a nine uh, but anything above that would be a bonus and there's probably one or two cards that probably won't even get that so um, i hope you enjoy um, and let me know what you think about it either on my instagram at charo captain ad or down in the comments below let's get to it so today i've got three different stacks of ace green and cards that i'm going to be going through i sent off i think it was exactly 45 different cards um so as I said before, I think a few of them, I'm, a lot of them, I'm gonna be keeping them in my personal collection. Um, and some of them I'm probably gonna be looking to move on. So if you are watching this, you are interested in any of my um, returns, do, do hit me up, do let me know. Um, but anyway, let's get started with the first one. So this is my first time holding Ace Grading label. Um, well, card anyway. Um, I'm gonna try and go through these, not too slowly, but I just want to admire the first one in the back. Um, who knows what grade this card is gonna get, but let's see what it is first. So, oh, it's a Flapple V, and I think I might have spoiled the grade already. So there we go, we got a nine on that one. So I sent a few of these different full arts. But personally, I just liked um, quite a lot, so, I wanted to get a few of those ready for my collection. Right, let's go for the next one. We have got Victini V. And it's gonna look like, if I can already tell by the colour of the label there, it's gonna be a nine. There we go. Get in focus. That's super cool. I'm expecting there's gonna be a few more full arts over on this side as well. Ooh! I'm spoiling it with the colours. I can see the colours as I put my thumb over it. Probably should get a card to cover it, but there you go, a Tapu Coco V. That's got a Gen Mint 10, that's pretty sick. Um, what's the next one? Metagross, Mint 9. What's this one from? Is this from Chilling Rain? Chilling Rain, absolutely. Then maybe, in, oh God, I'm expecting another full up. Ooh, Blazer can be. Very nice from Chilling Rain as well. Awesome. And let's see what we've got next. Boom, Bolton V, Rebel Clash. Oh, there we go. I've got the colour match on this Chimchar. It's a McDonald's promo. I'm quite happy with a mint, near mint um, eight there, to be fair. This one's definitely one I'm going to be keeping because I really, Chimchar's one of my favourite Pokemon but, um, that are in the franchise. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that one. And I think the, 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 the label looks really nice, especially with the fact that, you know, you've got the yellow stamp there with the yellow colour match part there. I think suits it quite nicely. So I'm quite pleased with that one actually. Um, next one we've got, ooh, character rare from Cosmic Eclipse, Weavile. Um, happy with a nine. Uh, I think the next one, which will probably be the next card, I'm hoping that that one might get better than a nine. And we'll see what we get. Oh, it's got a nine, so I'll, oh, I'll take a nine with that one to be fair. But this is definitely, out of the two, Mimikyu is definitely my favorite of the um, Cosmic Eclipse um, character rares for sure. So I'm happy with that. So, so far we've had quite a few cards. We've had one in Gen Mid 10, but I would say consistently it's all been nine so far. So apparently I've got an eye for looking at cards. Whoa, look at that. So I think this was my only ace label. And I've only gone and done it. Nice. I'm pretty happy with that one to be fair. Gem Mint 10 on the Holy Grail. Now I've got a master set of um, I've got a master set of Hidden Fates. Um, so that is gonna go really nicely as just as just part of the collection of my Hidden Fates um, master set. Well, absolute speechless. I'm so happy with that one. Right, let's go for the next one. Oh bloody yes! Come on. I'm not sure if I like the colour match. 
but wow, I was not expecting this to get 10. I thought it was a little bit, I don't know if you can, I don't know, I really hate judging GX centering, but I always felt like this was a bit thicker on that side, on the right to the left, but wow. Now I'm really upset, but they haven't come out with an Ace, Ace label for this. And if it ever does come out, then I will be definitely emailing them and asking them to swap this out. I don't really like the cut match of this, to be honest. Probably would have been better off with a standard. But I'm so happy with that. That is brilliant. That's going to go at the back two now. Very happy with that card. Next, let's see what we've got next. Oh, okay, that's a bit low. Not too low. I'm happy with that. It's an eight. But a tag team that I personally quite like. I think this is, yeah, Black Star promo, so that's pretty cool. Next, what are we gonna have? Oh, it's a seven, so that's the lowest we've had so far. Incineroar GX full art. Seven Incineroar, one of my favorite fire types from the Alola region. So that's pretty cool. So that's been the lowest one so far, a seven. So one in seven, you know, one seven out of, you know, 10 plus cars is doing quite well. And oh, here we go. As I say that, we've got another seven Charles I Radiant Collection. This one I did expect because it has got some whitening in the corners, um, which you probably won't be able to see on this camera. But no, I'm happy with that. That's quite a nice, um, nice grey for that card. I think I got that in a um, in a mystery pack that I once opened. And oh, here we go. Right, colour match on this one as well for the Ente Hollow. Seven as well, I've had three sevens in a row. It's almost like I jinxed myself to be fair, but what a cool card that one is. And then last one on this pile. Ooh, yes. So this one I was expecting to get a bit lower for. Um, obviously it's a Delta Species card. Bought this one in a mystery pack as well. Um, but no, I was expecting this because it has got might not be able to see it. I think it's got a little, yeah, just there. It's got a little bit of a crease on the left hand side there. So I'm, I'm not complaining about that one at all. And I'm quite happy I went for the, mm, am I happy with the color, color match? I think it's all right. It's, it's a good middle ground. All right. So as we jump into part two of the video, um, I've got two miscellaneous um, cards left to have a quick look at before I get on to, you can see how tall that is. That is a Shining Fates um, stack, essentially. Um, I basically bought all of the full art shinies, um, got them graded um, because it's, why not, I suppose. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing that complete collection. The only card I'm missing from that is Eternatus VMAX Gold. So anyway, let's quickly go on to these two. So I've got, ooh, Steam Siege, Steelix EX, Mint 9, happy with that. That's quite a good grade. And last but not least, boom, an Alakazam V from Vivid Voltage, grade nine as well. So I've done quite well with the, um, a lot of my full arts today, so I'm really happy with that. Right, let's get on to, sometimes these don't stack as nicely as I would like them to, but they do stack really well. Once you get them into the right place, they stack really well. Right, I'm just having a look up and down here, and yeah, there's a few little, you know, imperfections with the actual cases, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I, unless I, I don't think I'm really too, bothered I'm not sure if I care that much but on the odd card here you can see it obviously with the naked eye you can see it a lot better but anyway let's jump straight into these shining fates grades let's go through these rapid fire so this first one boom nine on the eternity's V and nine on the Zama's enter V oh and a nine on the Zashi V happy with that if I could get all nines in these, I'd be really happy. And a nine on the Cremorant. Ooh, a nine on the double as well. Ah, an eight on the baby shiny. That's all right. It is what it is. 
We're doing quite well on the nines there. All right, next one. Oh, a nine on the Ditto V Max. Lovely. Are we going to have any tens? Oh, and a nine on the Ditto V. And a nine on the Grim Snarl. Excellent. And a nine on the Grim Snarl V. And what's before Grim Snarl? A Crobat V Max. Nice. I pulled this V Max from the obviously the collector's box, but within that, I actually pulled the Charizard. That's also being graded here today. So let's see what the Crobat V got. A nine as well, excellent. Very close to my wishes to come true. Oh, I'm gonna get an eight on the Phalanx V. That's all right, I'll take an eight, happy with that. And what am I gonna get? What's before Phalanx? Oh, the Dragapult V, Max. Excellent, got a mint nine. What's next? Oh, got an eight. An eight on the Dragapult V. Dear oh dear, that's fine. Let's try and keep, ah oh yes, back to the nines in DDV, excellent. And what we're gonna have here, yes, a mint nine for Toxtricity V Max, and is Toxtricity V gonna be a nine as well? Oh, it's an eight. That is an eight. So some of these cars I've pulled, a lot of them though, I have purchased as singles off of eBay. Oh, Bolton V is a nine, excellent. I think I had the full art earlier, didn't I? And that got an eight, so very happy with that. Nice. Mint nine on the Lapras V Max. And a mint nine on the Lapras V, excellent. So what we got here, nine on the V Max as well. Excellent. Oh, an eight on the V. So I think the V's and the baby shinies so far have done me a little dirty, but that's okay. Oh, yes, color match Charizard V Max. So I got a nine. I've only got a ten, but I'm happy with a nine. I think, as I said at the very start of looking at these shining fates cards. I've been happy to have a set which is pretty much eight to nine so only a few cards left. Let's hope that that stays the same. Yes, a mint nine on the Elder Goss. And then boom, ah, oh, gem mint ten on the Rillaboom VMAX. Excellent. And then last one, Rillaboom V and a mint nine. Oh, don't go breaking it already, Adam. Excellent. So in summary, I'm pretty happy with that. I think, um, yeah, probably, you know, not an awful lot of tens. But most of them, I think, were, you know, were nines. Um, that's to be expected, really. <clears throat> Overall, I would say I'm pretty happy um, with the cards and the cases themselves and their grades. Um, I think the lowest grade we got was a six, which to be honest was half expecting anyway. So yeah, let me know what you think of those grades and catch you next time.